Hello everybody, and welcome back to today's video. Today I'll be showing you how to change the traction tires on a YNL 060T number 74. Well, this engine in particular is number 74. You can get a variety of different road names and stuff. Uh, this particular model is the 2015 model. Uh, some things I'm just going to point out that you will not find on the 2015 model is I've actually customized it just a little bit. No big deal. Uh, I wanted it to have white wall tires, so I obviously just used a basic paint pen and white walled them. And then I have a cylinder, or a letter on the cylinder. And then my engine in particular is missing the, um, the death steps, or suicide steps for the locomotive. So what you will need today to change the locomotive's tire is a basic flathead screwdriver a Lionel tool for the rivets, bolts, rivets, bolts. Then you'll need a pair of needle nose pliers as well. And let's get into it. First thing that you're going to want to do is just ignore all this other stuff down here. This is not important. This is from another project. You're going to pull out this bolt right here. And slay it to the side. Now, when I did this a couple of days ago, it's a little bit of a pain. Um, and there's not any tutorial videos out there it's about how to change the traction tire on a particular engine. Um, so yeah, once you have the side rod off, you don't need to pull it off. You can basically put it there for now. You will need to take out the second one I've noticed in prior video or prior things from changing the traction tire. Um, it's a lot, it makes it a lot easier and such. And this dummy wheel. So, what you're going to do next is I obviously have the traction tire on. This is the traction tire right here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and poke it. Yeah, right there. I don't know what that is. Um, I'm going to poke it. So what we're going to do is, it's a little tight, which is good. Um, I'm going to show you how to take it off and change it. On this particular model, I had used the traction tire so much, I wore it out, and it needed to be replaced. So this is its replacement tire, and hopefully I don't do something stupid to it. So... We're going to try to pull this one off. So obviously, if it's going to be worn out, it'll be a little bit more stretchful, hopefully. Dang. I put this one on really good. Trying to get it off. As you can see, we have made a little bit of progress. There we go. Just need to pull this up. Hey, there we go. Hopefully it won't want to re itself. So there is our traction tire. All nice, beautiful, and wonderful. I have it turned inside out. Obviously, it's got a little bit of wear on it. Uh, it's a brand new one. I've ran this engine in a little while. So, uh, obviously, the wheels are going to be great. I have some rubber marks on here. Huh, weird. Uh, that's, uh, that's, that's oil. I think. Yeah, we're not going to question it. Probably from the dirty tracks when I was running it without traction tires. Um... What you're going to do is want to pull this back up here. You're just going to try to tug, and it's going to be a bit of a pain. You might even have to twist the engine, and boom, she's... I spoke too soon. Come on. It's going to be a bit of a pain at first, but once you have it over there... Uh, I've ruined my white walls, but 
Hey, it gives you that weathered look. Um, what's gonna happen? Once you've got that complete and it's back on, or you've got your new traction tire on, you're gonna line up the rods and you wanna make sure they're lined up properly. And you're gonna place in your bolt for the smallest rod. Now, for granted, the bigger bolt is for the um, back one. Once it's right there, you're going to uh, take your Lionel tool and screw it right into place. And there we go. Here's it back in place. So then I'm going to have to turn the locomotive on its side. And this is fine. This foam matting will protect the locomotive from any damages. I'm going to line that side rod up. Make sure you can look down in it and see through it. And... Make sure, I know when I was doing this earlier, I accidentally caught one of the spokes, and it's fine, but it's just like that. Make sure you don't catch one of those spokes. You're going to screw this back down. Again. A little bit of trouble. Uh, it didn't screw down quite right. So, on this occasion, it didn't screw down like I would want it to. So, I'm going to try to... Screw it back down. It isn't the place I would like it to be. Am I happy with it? No, not really. So, it might take a couple tries. Um, if you even have to pull the um, bolt back out. Locomotive ate my uh, wheel bearing. The tray did. I want to pull this back up. Where'd it go? It fell down my bearing. Oh, come on. There it is. <laughs> oh, boy. So, once you've got your bearing, you're going to, like I said earlier, you're going to basically just put it right into place. Ah, crap. Right into place. Like so, you're going to take your bolt and you're going to make sure you're aligned good and properly. Go ahead and give it a couple twists and then you're going to get your line out tool back out. You're just going to screw it into place. Once it's screwed into place, locomotive should be good. I guess I'm just going to have to leave it like that. I mean, if you wanted to even, actually I think that would brick a little bit better it might be a little on the wiggly side but uh, once she's like that you're all good to go thank you guys for watching and subscribing and remember keep it awesome